But if you're going to do something that no one has ever done before and it costs a trillion dollars, if you can pull it off, go for it. My read of <laughs> history, history says it needs different drivers. Okay. And by the way, I wrote a whole book on this. Okay. There's a whole other book I wrote called, well, the, the, I got to tell you, the, the original title of the book was Failure to Launch. The dreams and delusions of space enthusiasts. And I handed that to the publicist. We can't have the word failure in the title. And so it has a different, a softer, toothless title, which was Space Chronicles Facing the Ultimate Frontier. And that's my entire analysis of why we ever did anything in space. So you're talking to a man that my favorite TV show when I was a kid was Star Trek, the original great TV version with Captain Kirk and Spock. Uh, with the original cast. And, of course, their mantra was to boldly go where no man has gone before. And I want us to keep doing that. I want to just segue from that. You've been um, interesting about some of... Uh, well, the, the sort of Trump landscape we're heading to has a number of things which enter your wheelhouse, one of which Scientific America said, for example, about the appointment of RFK uh, Jr. Trump has promised he would allow Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to go wild on medicines, food and health, with that, a radical anti-establishment medical movement with roots in past centuries could threaten the achievements of a science-based public health order painstakingly built since World War II. Do, do you agree with their categorization of the way this could go? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a, a crystal ball of how actual politics unfolds. 